no matter where you are and no matter who you are, your house is full of bugs and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> so entomologist, I hate this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you need to know the truth. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, entomologist Michelle Tradowin uh, has done a study across uh, many different countries, including the United States, Australia, Japan, Peru, and Sweden. Uh, she would, she is soon going to visit uh, countries in Africa and. In Antarctica as well to continue or broaden this research. So her team um, decided to check different homes with from different places and in different conditions to mm. see what kinds of insects were inside the house. So they, uh, you know, they wanted to judge different kinds of homes. They didn't tell the people who's volunteered, <laughs> like you know, where on the cleanliness, on the scale. cleanliness <laughs> scale they were, because they wanted to see if, uh, you know, what degree of cleanliness, what amount of clutter, um, pets, pesticides, dust, number of no uh, windows and doors, if that contributed at all. And what she found um, from looking at 50 homeowners in Raleigh, North Carolina, was after taking swabs and various different um, ways of investigation that fuck, there's a bug in my face. How appropriate. I hate this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what you, you can't escape the bugs. Uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> what she did find was close to uh, it's very convenient to what just happened, yeah. which is you can't escape the bugs. Yeah. The bugs are everywhere. It's something that I think Everybody kind of knows, but it's something that I just don't want to think about. Like, I know that there's a ton of bugs and stuff in my house, but I'm fine with not seeing them. Like, we can cohabitate the space. But there's so many. There's so the many. The diversity so many different is great. Kinds. So, according to Trata Wine, there were a hundred species of bugs in all the houses, um, no, regardless of how clean they were. Right. And so they're just there. And a lot of this has to do with we live in the world, and that's where bugs are. So yeah. the bugs don't view our. Uh, structures as borders between their world and ours, they view it as an extension of their own, like mm -hmm. as if you were to build a tiny ladder on an anthill, the ants would just climb it and they wouldn't think it's the, your ladder, <laughs> it's just there. And it's hey ants, their get use. off of my tiny ladder, that's mine. My tiny ladder, oh, who could have ever imagined this would happen? What is this, a house for ants? Anyway. Yeah, all houses are for ants. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what they found was most arthropods, which are uh, insects, spiders, millipedes, mm. and other spineless creatures, um, they prefer ground floor, high traffic rooms that with carpeting me. Yeah. and lots of windows or doors, aka the living room. Right. They're everywhere. Ugh. Ugh. And they just hide out eating you know, like your dead skin and well, the different dust kinds. They they kind of what she found was they found, formed their own sort of uh, like their own complex system. And so there are prey animals like scuttleflies, gnats, book lice uh, that feed off of. Ugh. I'm sorry, feed off of skin cells and dust and dander and deritus that just the is trend. in your house. Yeah, detritus gross. rather. And uh, there are opportunistic feeders like ants. So if you leave something out, they'll eat it. Do you want ants? Because this is how we get ants. Yep. <laughs> but they're still there, so you know what? <laughs> I don't know how to make you feel about this. Yeah. Each time you knew the truth, and then there's predators, which include spiders. Um, so they all sort and of me. form together. Oh, I'm a predator. <laughs> I'm you, gonna kill them. You eat them? No, but I will. I will murder that's them. That's how the predator prey relationship yeah, works. Yeah. Well, not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh. the predator. <laughs> okay. So you just go around with my invisible. heat goggles and yeah. <laughs> Maybe invisible to them. I don't know what you do. <laughs> um, so it's just. Oh, and there's also roaches, which live ah. everywhere and have adapted to live with humans, as mm. opposed to just they live where we live. Uh, so that's terrifying, as well. I it's everywhere. I don't know and you what can't it do is. Anything about it? Like spiders, snakes, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty much okay with. But for some reason, roaches. They, they just get me. They look dirty. Yeah. And they scuttle very quickly. <laughs> And you can't kill them. No. And even if you step on them, Gross. you might get their resilient, resilient eggs on your shoe. Yeah. And then those eggs go in your apartment, oh. Dander. They're oh, in your apartment. No. I'm leaving. No. Well, I don't want to go home. Everywhere you ruined you go. home. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Nerd Alert aims to do to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, basically they're everywhere, and, uh, and I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, the entomologist thought it could have some positive effects, mm -hmm. like helping your, I guess, resistance to allergies. 
a little <laughs> bit just because horrible things are everywhere. It just sounds I, like an excuse. It does sound like something <laughs> she made up. Yeah. Just to make us feel better. <laughs> and just look, every household has it, whether it's a normal, I mean, there's a difference between a normal household amount of bugs and an infestation. Sure. Um, but it looks like we're just going to have to learn to cohabitate, I yeah, guess. Yeah, man, we're all one. I <laughs> the sack of no, because then again, that oh. applies. We have to eat the bugs, and yeah, I, I don't want to do it. Slimy yet satisfying. Eat, All my lessons come from Lion King. If I eat those <laughs> bugs, they better be the kind that came from a you know clean bug farm and sure. have been ground and they're into like a cheddar flour. cheese flavor. Yeah, <laughs> and don't look like a bug. Yeah. I'm on board with the bug protein future, right. mm -hmm. but I don't want to eat the bugs in my home. Because they're like pets. No, they're, oh. they're, they might be dirty, <laughs> yeah. you know? I need clean bugs. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Audience, does this change your thoughts on your home and do you refuse to go home much like Xander? Please let us know below. I live Please, here now. You do and I don't recommend it. Please like and subscribe for more.